WWE title belts finally change for the better. Let's watch. You, you have some beautiful championships right now, right? Well, they have now. Remember when WWE did this? Let me tell you about the color of blue. Oh, what about the color? What is, oh, red, I think it is. How about yellow? You guys like yellow? Oh, what about a little green, huh? How about green? Purple? You guys like purple? Oh. No. No, I'm a strawberry. Look, WWE. <laughs> it's a beautiful logo. Quite like it. It's pretty clean. Paul. Vincent, I got it the first time. No need for another one. No need for another one. Another one. Another one. That was my biggest problem with the WWE Championships. They all look the same. Oh, the mm. great one with the championship designs don't matter. It's about who's holding the championship, who's making this championship prestigious. Shut your bum. Shut your bum right here. You think the championships don't mean shit? Let me show you. you know, I, I could tell you. But I'm gonna show you. Just look at the difference a good championship design oh, makes. It is yeah. important. I mean, look at some. They look so the old ones. They look so cheap. The new ones, they look so good and and expensive. And just like these look like you can get them off Amazon. The the new ones look like they took some time. They took their time with the design. I like the shape. It had to grow on me at first because at first I looked at it when I when they first revealed them, the raw ones. I like the raw ones because of the hint of red. I was like, okay, I like those. And then they showed us the SmackDown ones, and I was like, where's the blue? There's no blue. I was expecting a hint of blue, just like the raw ones. And honestly, when I first like initially, when I compared the two after they revealed the SmackDown ones, I felt like I liked the raw ones more because of the color or the hint of red that they threw in there. But as far as the shape, I don't like the shape of the raw belts. I like the shape of the um, SmackDown belts. I really do. The globe, I don't know if I like that oblong shape or whatever, but my feelings are 50 50 at first i was more raw but after looking at them i'm like i don't know which one they look good all right they look better than the old ones that's all that matters the old ones look cheap and like fragile and and very cheap so that's this is definitely a needed upgrade because these old ones were not it at all a good championship design makes it is important i mean look at someone like bill <laughs> now that you've seen that look at goldberg with the wwe big gold championship and the wwe universal championship this right here screams i'm a man ah, legends don't respect legends ah, i'm a man you know what this tells me <laughs> i went to toys r us and bought a present for my boy gage and then i made millions by pretending i wrestled for my son yeah no Something along those lines. <laughs> a few years ago, I made one of my most viewed videos complaining about the WWE Championship designs. They're just a bunch of shitty looking M&Ms right they now. They can't get the to color tell you, right. For those who don't watch WWE product and just for whatever reason decided to click on this video, they look better now. So much better. I knew it's about to change once Triple Ooh, H gave us expensive. the new world Doesn't it? heavyweight championship. I think the design is so beautiful. It has that classic yeah. feel. Maybe the logo is a bit too, you know, the out white one there. Looks good too. Look, as much as I like the, the white one more. It's, it's not as good as this bad boy right here. It is the championship you marry, but this is the championship you cheat with. In my opinion, the less a championship looks like a company title, the so more prestige good. it has. This one right here ain't bad. I like that it looks clean. It's beautiful. Too many of them. I <laughs> too many. Too many of them. A, little bit, a bit too many of them. But I think it looks clean. However, the difference between this championship and this championship, this makes me feel like I became a champion of this company. This right here makes me feel like I became a champion of the world, mm -hmm. the entire world, the entire planet. Yeah. The undisputed championship looks all right in my opinion. The issue is it doesn't look better than the old WWE championship. It's crazy how we're calling it old now. Didn't we call it the WWE Network Championship at one point? But I get why they're doing this shit, right? So the Women's Championship looks the same except with a white strap and the World Women's Championship- Oh, it looks so good. I like them both. I like the black one and the white one. 
that looks the same like the men's world championship with a white strap. Now that's good in theory. I'm okay with these title designs. The issue is man, this means we're never going to get the white strap intercontinental championship. Sad brother noises. But while the new world titles look absolutely beautiful, that's not all and that's what I'm here to talk about today. So make sure to subscribe, like if you already didn't and let's talk about the beautiful WWE titles we have in the WWE. WWE Speed Championship. Now let's talk about the good championships we have in the <laughs> WWE, right? I want you to take a look at this picture. This is just a few years ago and these are the titles we had. Lots of color Nickelodeon ass wonky slush type of championships, right? Coins, goddamn coins. <laughs> I guess that's the review. Every title looked the same pretty much. But I want to start with the mid-card championships. I honestly believe that the United States Championship is one of the most beautiful WWE titles of all time. I know it's an unpopular opinion. People seem to hate it. I know people seem to hate that championship. I think the shape looks good. It looks modern, but not too clean, which is an issue in the WWE. Everything needs to look clean. What needs to be clean mm -hmm. is your ass, ladies and gentlemen. What needs to be clean is your ass, not a championship design. A championship title needs to look prestigious, and this has a mixture of both, in my opinion. I like this championship. I really did. This seems to have a lot more prestige, though. The look of the championship, of course. Here's the deal about the Intercontinental Championship. When we yeah. first got that championship introduced, hated it. Absolutely hate it. Like Call it. it anything else, it's a great title. When you replace this championship, well, then you seem like a person I don't want to talk to, honestly. Hate your guts. Wish you the worst, honestly. Like, wish you the worst. I think for me, I don't like all them colors. I think that's probably why I like them more. Like I said, the raw one, it was a hint of red. It wasn't too much. You know, it gave it a little bit of color, but the rest of it was kind of like the same. It wasn't all extra. For some reason, I kind of just like the the two tone, maybe three different colors. The I like this design. It doesn't make my eyes hurt, so. What kind of made me like this championship a little bit more is obviously accepting the fact that this championship is never returning and seeing Gunter making the championship they look very prestige. Classic. Not the design of the championship, but getting used to it so much, seeing this championship being defended, it kind of just grew on me. In a weird way, the prestige of the title translated into design of the championship. That's not even a goddamn sentence. You know what I mean though, right? I just feel like with some minor changes, it could be a real really beautiful title. Unfortunately, the white strap is never coming back. And that's the thing. The white strap is now for the ladies, which is such a nice touch. It makes sense. And the white strap always looks amazing on a championship. Have I mentioned in this video that I missed this title, by the way? I think the NXT championships look absolutely beautiful. The main titles look very modern, but it kind of works for NXT. The whole point of NXT is next. Right. Future. Right. Future of the WWE. Modern ass looking championships. The color was not necessary though. Bad choice, bad choice. The tag team titles, great. The North American championship looks like a boxing title. So unique, such a beautiful Ooh. strap. This championship was so out of nowhere in an era where every title looked like this. Or this, or this, or this. I don't even really hate the women's tag team championships that much. AKA the most unlucky division in WWE history. I can't really name you many great women's tag team championship title reigns. Designs are not great, but I feel like they're fine. Although I gotta tell you, it is probably the design that I would change. But people, speaking of tag team championships, we literally went from this coin ass Nickelodeon walkie slush type of shit. This throwback to the OG WWE tag team titles and the Ruthless Aggression tag team championships. I think this is one of the best looking championship mm. designs I have ever seen. Seeing Austin Theory so and I see what they were going for. these championships, it just gives you that i never really paid school. attention to so i never paid attention to these things like the details of the belts i've never really like until they revealed them i was like okay cool wrestling type of feel and that's what i'm telling you the less the championship looks i mean i noticed them tag team belts those are fucking ugly for the most part unless it's this and i kind of understand and when it comes to world tag team championships i think they're great too <sighs> my biggest complaint is looks like a pan 
Like, why does it look like a pan? No, it looks like a pizza. Oh, the detail is great. I appreciate these they championships. They do look like a pizza. <laughs> Going back to the main championships, I don't really mind <laughs> these titles like anymore. Pizza. Yeah, it's a big corporate logo, but that's exactly what this championship needs to Damn. be. Would I like a change? Absolutely. But do I appreciate the fact that at least we have this championship? <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Yes. Now, rest in peace, Intercontinental Championship, but I actually believe it's a great idea to have white straps for the ladies. It's not necessarily a new thing, but remembering what WWE used to be way in the past, it's crazy that the Women's World Championship looks exactly like the Men's so World Heavyweight Championship. And it's a great message. These championships mean just as much. To put it simply, I am pretty okay with the WWE's main World Championships. It's one of these things that I just kept complaining about about and it's so awesome that wwe finally listened to me specifically you know people me and triple h were boys but you know what it also <laughs> tells me is that a lot more change is coming because a lot of these championships were still introduced under vince mcmahon but you don't even go there but you know one day i just looked at wwe.com clicked superstars and i was like you know what the wwe titles well, they don't look that bad. So I'm really interested in what changes we can expect from Triple H in the future. I know it's not Triple H who's literally designing these, you know, one day he's being the COO of the WWE and that he's creating championships in his spare time. I know that's not the case, but he, I believe he gets to make these decisions. But I'm so glad that I could make a very happy update to this video. Now, Hunter, boy, buddy, H, Paul, Helmsley. Bro, theme songs. What the f*** happened right here? You don't want none. That theme song I don't want. That's for sure. <laughs> but that's a topic for another day. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, change it back. That's gonna do it for this reaction, y'all. Make sure y'all leave some likes and comments down below. And let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Toodles.